Hey guys, welcome back. Today's tutorial is going to be about three different unique count functions. Let's get started. Here I've got an example and I'm going to lay out everything for you using the count, count if, and the count a function. What I'm going to do is use these two columns of data, the quantity as well as the item column. And I'm going to go ahead and create the formula by selecting the function key and selecting count from the menu. I'm going to go ahead and begin selecting my information starting with a quantity call. Next I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing using the count function. Again, this time I'll be selecting the item column. Now this is the count if function and this is going to actually select based on criteria that we're going to put in. And as you see here, just for the example, I actually shaded all number ones green. And what I'm doing is wanting to count all number ones in the quantity column. And just for the sake of, again, the example, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same with the item column. But as you can see here, once I hit that enter key and select one, it's gonna return nothing. And the next function is the count a function and it acts similar to the count function and as you can see here what it's what the difference is is that the count a function can actually recognize those fields that have text as you see in the item column and based on the output that you see here that I'm kind of fixing um, you can see that it recognizes that there's 12 um, rows of data with item information entered in, which is the text information. And hopefully you found this helpful. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just show you kind of a quick little shortcut using the formula bar. And what you can do is actually swap out using that count if formula that we created earlier. You can go ahead and swap out the number. And as you can see here, I, I replaced it with number two, which now gives me the output of four because obviously I've got four number twos in that quantity column. Well, hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. I'm gonna wrap up a few things here, but if you have any questions or would like to see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe or comment below on what videos you'd like to see next. Thank you.